Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day makeup look. To do this look, I'm going to be using the Morphe 35XO palette. I have done a whole tutorial and review of this palette, which I have in a separate video, so I will link that down below in the description box if you guys want to check that out. So many of you guys requested that I do another makeup look with this palette, and I thought that this palette would be perfect for Valentine's Day, so that's what we're going to do today, and let's get started applied my foundation and concealer and I did my brows so we'll finish up the rest of the face makeup after we do the eyes. I'm going to start out this look by priming my lids using some NYX Cosmetics concealer and I'm using a flat concealer brush to apply this all over my lids. So this is what the palette looks like. It has a bunch of pinks and neutral shades, so perfect for Valentine's Day. I'm going in with my Morphe M441 brush which is just a fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm going into the shade Hair Flip, which is just a nude matte color. I'm just going to place this all over the concealer and especially on my crease so that we can set this concealer. I'm going to add the shade Just Friends, which is a little bit of a deeper matte brown. I'm going to place this along my outer corners and crease. And now to add more pinks into this eye look, I'm going into the shade Talk Feelings. And I'm using another Morphe M441 brush to do this. I'm just going to place that right over top of the shades we just applied to the lids. And now I'm adding the shade Love Story, which is a deeper pink purple shade. And I'm just going to place that right over top to deepen up this look even more. So I think I want to keep the lids of this look a little bit more matte today rather than adding a shimmer. So I'm going to go back in with my concealer that I used earlier to prime my lids. And I'm just going to apply that to the inner half of my lids. And going in with a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm using the shade Touchy Feely, which is a matte shade. And I'm just going to place this right over that concealer. Over top of bed, I'm using the shade Come Here Often, which is just a matte cream shade. And I'm just using that to help lighten up that inner half of the lid even more. Now going in with a Morphe M330 brush, I'm into the shade Show Some Skin. And I'm just going to place this at an angle on the outer corner of the eye. Then I'm going to add the shade Make It Official, which is a really deep brown shade. And place that right over top. Then going in with a Morphe M433 brush, I'm going into that same Make It Official shade that we just applied. And I'm just going to use this brush so we can get a little bit of a closer application. And because it's a flat eyeshadow brush, it'll help to make the shade come off a little bit more intense rather than using a fluffy brush. And now going in with a really small angled brush, I'm going into the shade Make It Official. I'm just going to use this to help to line that inner corner rather than using a eyeliner today. And now for my lower lash line, I'm going into the shade Double Tap and Talk Feelings. And I'm just mixing both of those shades and I'm just dragging this right along my lower lash line. Oh. Now I'm going to pop on some lashes. So today I'm using my Kiss Flirty Lashes and applying these using some Duo Eyelash Glue. I'm using a Morphe M431 brush, which is just more of a pointed brush, and I'm using the shade Your Move, which is a shimmer. And I'm just going to place this as an inner corner highlight on the eye. So I'm just placing this right on the very inner part of the lid, slightly bringing it down just like that. I don't want to add too much here because we'll cover up the eyeliner that we have on the inner corner. And now I'm using the shade Come Here Often, which is just that matte cream shade we used earlier. And I'm going to place this on my brow bone just to add a matte highlight. Using a black eye pencil, I'm just going to line my waterline. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm just applying some mascara to my top and bottom lashes to finish off this eye look. Now moving on to the face makeup, I'm going in with my Kylie Cosmetics bronzer and this is in the shade Tequila Tan. I'm just going to place it below my cheekbones, my forehead, and my jawline. And once that is applied, I'm going in with my Kylie Cosmetics Translucent Powder on my Damp Beauty Blender. And I'm just going to clean up that contour, so I'm dragging that right alongside the bridge of my nose and under my eyes, and also below the contour on my cheekbones. I'm just going in and dusting all of that excess powder off of my face. For my blush today, I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Stormy Collection Flutter in Love Blush, and I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks and also a little bit to the tip of my nose. For highlighter, I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Queen Drip Highlighter, and I'm just going to place this on my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose. Applying a little bit to my cupid's bow. Just tapping all of that out with my Beauty Blender. So for lips, I am going to be using my Morphe Lip Pencil, and this is in the shade Crush. And I'm just going to line my lips with this. And to top that off, I'm using the Morphe Madison Beer Collection Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Saturn. I'm just placing that right over top of that liner. So this is the finished look. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Hit the bell button to turn on your post notifications so you're notified when I upload a new video. Happy Valentine's Day and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.